My name's Ash from Cambridge United Community Trust and in this project we're going to be looking at match reporting and how a match report is made, how we put it together and how we can make them really, really awesome and make them in a way that best describes the action that's taken place on the pitch. So all professional football matches will have a sports journalist or a collective of journalists that will attend the game, make notes on the action and then upload their match reports at the end. Have a think now of the most exciting game of football you've ever watched, played in or been a part of and think about what the match report for that game would look like. What would it contain? So in this series of lessons, we'll be giving you some tips some guidance, some advice on how to write your own match reports and then use the skills to benefit you in your English lessons. And what we'd love to do in the future is to invite you over to the Abbey Stadium to write a match report on a game with us in the future. So when a sports journalist goes to a match to compile a match report, they'll usually take with them two things, a laptop, to type everything up at the end and they'll be taking a notepad to write up their notes during the action. The notepad is particularly important because the journalist will be using that pad to put down the key actions, the key events, who did them, what times they happened, and then using those notes to then write up the report on the laptop immediately after the game has ended. And a technique, a method of writing that journalists use to put together these notes is something called shorthand. So as you can see here by this um, example kindly donated by a sports journalist from the Cambridge Independent, shorthand is a method of rapid writing that uses abbreviations and symbols. It's good for use with interviews and sport reports. So the way that journalists use shorthand so that they don't have to write as much is they only use essential vowels and consonants and often join the consonants together to make it easier for them to fit all of the information on a smaller piece of paper or on a smaller um, booklet. And the symbols and numbers that are used can represent events and time and then this can be deciphered at the end and put into a match report. So if you were eagle-eyed, you may have seen that in that last picture, the game that had been reported on was our game against Colchester United on February the 1st. So that was a really, really important game for three reasons. Number one, Colchester is a fairly local town to Cambridge, so it could be considered a local derby game. Two, this game was the first in temporary charge of our now permanent manager, Mark Bonner. So the team were ready under new management, ready to give their all. And three, the team had been on quite a poor run of form leading up to the game, having lost five and drawn one of their last six games. So something needed to be improved. So what we're going to do now is watch the highlights of the game and make our notes on what happened. But before we do that, here are some tips to help you with your note making. When writing your notes, split a piece of paper in two. Use the left side to write down the key events that happen by the home team and use the right side to jot down your key events from the away team. Keep your notes simple. Only include the key information, like the, the times, who was involved, what happened. Save the more descriptive language for when you write it up later. If you miss part of the action, ask other people that are watching with you to keep you updated or in the case of watching it online, just rewind and watch again. So I hope those tips were helpful for you and will be helpful when you're making your notes in a second. 
I've got my notepad ready. I've divided my page into two with my home team, Cambridge United, and my away team, Colchester United. I won't be writing in shorthand because I don't know how to. I'm not a journalist, but if you know how to write in shorthand, please go ahead. Or you can just write in the way you'd normally write, but just in really, really quick note form. Let's watch the highlights. Wow, what a fantastic win for the U's there. Cambridge coming out on top 2-1. Really exciting game. And I put my notes together. What I'll do is we'll have a look at them a little bit closer up to see if our notes match up. So you can see here I've got my notes. Nothing special. I just quickly jotted down as I was watching the video. Um, I've got my events from Cambridge United on the left and my events from Colchester on the right. What I've done is you can see I've staggered the notes slightly so that I can put them in the correct order. Um, anything that's happened from a specific player, I've either tried to write their name or their squad number. Um, so you can see in the first one, shot by 18, saved by goalkeeper, followed up by 34. So those are the squad numbers and I can make sure I jot those names in after that I can get the squad number from the programme. Um, you can also see that I've popped the goals. I've put um, a time with a circle around it. So 67, 85 and 86. Um, so that I know when the goals have happened and I've put a little star asterisk next to them so that those are the notes in which um, detail the goals and at the bottom I've just put the final score, the goal scorers and the timings which could help me when I put together my match report um, immediately after the game. So now it's time for our over to you section for a note taking challenge. So your challenge from this video is to choose one of the following three matches and watch the videos and put together some notes that would then formulate your match report. So your choices are, I've tried to pick exciting games for you, you've got Liverpool versus Arsenal in 2008 or you can watch Manchester City versus Queen's Park Rangers in 2012. Quite an important game in football history, that one. And likewise, the third choice, Manchester United versus Bayern Munich in 1999 in the Champions League final. So what you can do is you can either type those games with the dates into your YouTube browser and it should show up the highlights for it. Or you can then, or you can look at the um, links below and type those links into the URL to be directed to the exact videos that I would use to take my notes. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. Thank you very much for your time and your attention. Please feel free to send me any notes you took on the games you just watched on my email here below. Would really, really love to see it and give shout outs in future videos. I um, look forward to seeing you again when we'll be looking at the structure of a match report and how to put that together. Take care guys, bye.